Welcome to day 21. It's yoga and core today, so you can just chill because we're on the ground. Our theme is about silver lining, so it's about looking for the good in others and situations. Let's move through our flow. Come have a seat. Take your hands behind you. And let's just begin with opening up the hips. So take the knees over to one side, look over the opposite shoulder. Inhale, over to the other side. Exhale, just allowing your hips to move from side to side. Can you believe that we're on day 21? You deserve this stretch. We have been working hard. Feel that nice release in the hips. Take the legs out now and give them a little shake out. Now go ahead and grab your hand onto your knee and your heel and begin to rock. Rock the baby. You've got two hippie babies to take care of this lifetime. So you gotta give them some love. So our focus is on seeing the good in others, seeing good in situations, expecting good things to happen, staying positive, thinking and speaking as though things are on its way. I'm gonna go ahead and switch signs. So it's so important to stay positive, especially during these times. We want to surround ourselves with positive energy, but really important to be able to actually look for the good. Look for the good in others. Look for the good in situations. Look to see what can you learn. How can you grow? How can you evolve? How can you be a kinder human? Great, now take the soles of your feet together and just gently flutter the knees. Another deep breath in and exhale. Great. And then just bringing one leg forward, pull the other knee in. And let's just start by getting some length. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Slide your hand down to your foot. Inhale, exhale, and slide. Exhale, slide forward, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna pause here. If there's more, you can reach around and grab hold of the outside of your foot. And then just add a little twist, looking over your shoulder, pushing the back of your knee down towards the ground. And just enjoy that lovely stretch in the back of your leg. Pushing that knee down towards the ground as you press the other knee down towards the earth. And then slowly make your way back up. We're gonna come into a little side stretch from here. So you're gonna plant your knee down towards the ground, plant your hand behind you, and sweep all the way up. In that lovely stretch from your toes to your fingers. Hmm. And slowly coming back down. Bring that leg out to the side now. Great. And reach over towards your heel if you can. Otherwise, grab hold of the calf. Slide. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and now exhale. Let's pause here. Really enjoy that lovely side stretch. Open your shoulders up towards the sky. Push the back of your knee down towards the ground. And breathe right into the side ribs, expanding the energy to the bottom of the lungs. So nice. Two more breaths. And inhale, slowly come back to center. And now you're going to tuck that leg behind you. We're going to come into a twist now. We're going to twist around. So 
walk your body around, keep your knees where they are, and just slowly drop down onto your elbow. Place your hand behind your head and step into a nice stretch for the quadricep, a little twist, looking down towards your elbow. If you want to go deeper, walk your knee further away as you come into a gentle twist. And then slowly make your way back up, extend the legs forward, give them a little shake out. A little tap on the outside of the legs, a little body tapping on the inside, again on the outside, and the inside. Great, let's switch sides. So bringing that foot in to the inside of the thigh and inhale, lengthen, exhale. Slide down your leg, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Now. Pause here, if you're able to, grab hold of either the outside of the shin or the outside of the foot and twist, looking over your opposite shoulder. Back of the knee pushes down towards the ground. Get long through your spine and breathe. Deep, nourishing breaths. Spine be long and breathing deep down into the belly, the bottom of your lungs. Nourishing breaths in and out. And slowly inhale, come back to center. Great, bring your leg, swivel your leg out to the side. Once again, inhale, center, exhale, slide down. Inhale. Exhale, slide. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. And this time we'll pause. Inhale up and exhale. Hold here, elbow to the sky. Open your chest towards the Father sky and breathe. Smooth, even breaths. Continue to get long through your side body. Breathing into the rib cage. Pull your head back towards your hand. Two more breaths. Last deep breath. And inhale, slowly come back to center. Once again, we're gonna come into that ballet position. Take your hand down behind you. You're gonna plant your knee. You're gonna sweep right across. Reach out through your toes and fingers. Hips are pressing forward. Heart is lifted. Nice, deep, nourishing breath. The best vitamin to take is B positive. Or is it B1? <laughs> uh, I think it's more like the best kind of blood type to have is B positive. <laughs> I'm really not great at telling jokes. I leave that to my husband. Nice stretch through the toes and fingers. Great, and then slowly come back down. And we're gonna come into a little twist now. So you're gonna bend that knee. And we're gonna walk around now. So slowly start to walk your way around. And you're gonna keep your knee there. As you twist, you're gonna get a nice stretch to the front of the thigh. So rest down through your forearm and look over your shoulder, look towards your foot and breathe. If there's more, walk your knee further away. Just continue to look towards your foot. And again, back to the breath. Deep breath into the belly. And exhaling any energy out that's stagnant. Inhale, bring in refreshing energy. And exhale. And then slowly make your way back. Okay, we're gonna get into opening up the front of the hips now. So coming onto all fours, 
Let's just do a little cat cow to prepare. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, drop the belly and lift the chest. Look up. Exhale, bring the pubic bone towards the navel and the chin towards your chest. Inhale, draw the chest up. Stretch to the front of the body. Exhale and round. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift the heart. We're at the halfway point now. And exhale, you round the spine. Feel that nice stretch in the spine. Okay, and then inhale, come back to center. Now we're gonna come into a little stretch for the hip flexors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step forward with one foot, draw the other knee back, okay? And then take your hands to the inside of your foot. From here now, I just want you to just gently rock forward and back. So you get that nice release into your hip. If you need to, you can fold your mat over for a little extra cushioning. And just feel that lovely stretch into the hip. If there's more, just drop down onto your elbow, keeping your knee in alignment with your ankle. Drop your head. And breathe deeply. Tuck this in. Here we go. Good, let that hip drop down and forward. Two more breaths. And then slowly lift up and bringing that leg all the way behind you now. Looking over your shoulder and getting that nice stretch along the side of your body. Just feel Stretch into the ribs and into the obliques. And that feels so good. Looking over your shoulder as you touch, tuck your foot in. And then bring one knee behind the other knee. And let's just do a little stretch into the, the hips for a moment. So you're just going to rock forward and back and forward and back. If there's more, you're going to sit down between your heels like this. And then just enjoy that stretch. If not, you're staying up here, maybe resting down on your forearms, just allowing for that release to happen into your hips. Weighting down towards the ground. Feel gravity pull you down. Two more breaths. And then slowly come back up to center, unravel the knees, and let's come back into cat-cow. So getting that undulating motion now with the spine. So inhale, lift up, exhale and round, inhale. And exhale, following the breath. With each of those movements, inhale one circle, and exhale the next circle. Two more times. Great, and then let's switch over to the other side. So once again, we're gonna lunge your other foot forward and dropping that hip down towards the ground. Great. And just feel that hip drop down. If there's more, you can drop your forearms down towards the ground. Feel your hip really just drop towards the floor. And breathe. And just drop your head and feel your body being pulled down towards the earth, allowing the gravity to pull your body down. Mm, 
last two breaths down here. Just let that hip really drop down. Infinite patience brings immediate results. So you're going to take that leg now, you're going to sweep it all the way around behind you. Looking over your shoulder, just getting that lovely side stretch. Mmm, feels so nice along the side body. So you're trying to bring your, your spine into a C shape. Feeling that stretch into your hips. And enjoy that feeling in your hips and along the side body. tuck your knee behind your other knee, open your knees at the side, and then just gently rock forward and back. Again, if you're able to, you're going to come sitting all the way down into Gurmukhasana, so sitting right on the floor. Otherwise, you're going to lower down onto your elbows and just enjoy that stretch here. Let your head relax. Ah, all that work we've done over the last... 20 days on day 21. That means tomorrow is your last day. Wow. Feel that lovely stretch in your hips. Hmm. One more breath. And then slowly release. We're going to come lying onto the back and we're going to do a little bit of core work. So as you lay on your back, you're going to bring your knees towards your chest and just gently rock from side to side. Great, and then bring both arms up towards the sky. Either keep your knees bent or straighten your legs, bringing your feet into Pilates V. Heels together, toes out. And here we go. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Maybe it looks like this. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Imagine there's a whoopee cushion under the back, keeping 80% of the air out. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Four. Three. Two, and one. Great, now we're gonna alternate the legs down. So if you're modifying, you're gonna bring one down at a time. Otherwise, the legs stay straight and you're gonna alternate right to left. 10, nine, keep that pressure down on the whoopee cushion, the imaginary whoopee cushion under your back. Seven, Six, five, you're doing great. Four, three, two, and one. Great. You're going to place your hands to the outsides of the knees. You're going to push out. Imagine your feet are against a wall, and you're going to push now down, 80% down into that whoopee cushion. Pull out with your knees and push in with your hands for 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now place your hands to the insides of your knees and push out. Think of pulling in with your knees and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Now place your hands on your thighs. Last round. Push for ten. Nine. So your thighs are pushing into your hands, hands into your thighs, and you're pushing down 80% in towards the ground. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And we'll start, we'll finish with just a little reverse curl. So arms down by your sides and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one switch, 10. Last round, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, and now let's finish with a stretch. Little twist for the spine. So you're gonna pull your one knee in towards your chest, take your opposite hand, bring it across your knee, and then slowly twist, opening your shoulder up, anchoring your shoulder down towards the ground. And just enjoy that lovely twist. If there's more, tuck your hip under and go a little bit deeper. Continuing to anchor that opposite shoulder down towards the ground. If you need to modify, just bend that bottom knee. Enjoy that beautiful twist. So let's talk about the wellness challenge. So today, for your wellness challenge, this class is called Silver Lining. And you're gonna write down three tools to help you to see the good in others and in situations. So what will help you to remember to look for the good in others? Three different tools. Um, I'd love for you to share them with me. I always looking for new ways of seeing things. Um, and then for your challenge, today you're gonna do the side plank with the hip dip. And you're gonna try 30 each side. So I'll show you what that one looks like in a minute. Let's go ahead and switch sides. There's your 22 minutes. Nice twist on the side. And again, if you want, you can tuck that hip under to go a little deeper. If you want to modify, just bend your bottom knee and that will give you just a little more modification. And breathe. Ah, so it's the grand finale tomorrow, day 22. It's a, called a mishmash of it all. And it's gonna be available to you live tomorrow night. Yay! So mark it in your calendar. There's gonna be prizes. There's gonna be awards. It's gonna be a big dance party. So join me live on Facebook. Forget about Instagrams, just Facebook. One at a time. Simplicity. Okay, so I'm slowly release and I'm gonna show you your fitness challenge of the day. So you're gonna come onto your side like this, all right? And you're gonna lift up 30 times. One, two, okay? or you're gonna be here. One, two, 30 each side, okay? You can break it up throughout the day. You could do 10, 10, 10. Love to see where you end up side planking. <laughs> okay, so again, like this, all right? Or like this, 30 repetitions. There you have it. You did a wonderful job. That was lovely. Um, I think that we definitely deserve that one. <laughs> so um, I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Mwah! I love you. You're beautiful. You're enough. Peace in.